At 13, Pasawat Ratanakot wants to be just like his dad, a Thai kickboxing champion. He says it's in his blood. The pride of Muay Thai skills, the national sport here, is instilled in Thais at a very early age. At this training gym just outside Bangkok, they start at nine. And that has raised concerns about brain injuries. I was knocked out once. I passed out for a bit when I hit the floor. When I regained consciousness, I felt a bit dizzy. His father also started boxing at nine, then became a champion at 17. When I was a boxer, of course I was knocked out, but I think it's about training. It's like a shield to protect ourselves. But that's not nearly enough protection, according to a recent medical study. Brain scans or MRIs were taken of 500 children under 15 years old from similar social economic backgrounds. It lasted five years, included non-boxers, and incorporated psychological testing. This is the first complete MRI study of the traumatic brain injury in Chai boxer. She says it's all about the damage of repeated minor brain trauma from blows to the head. Because of the damage, stop the maturation, the further maturation of some function of the brain. Cognitive function, the memory or the judgment, the higher brain function is not well developed yet. And when it got damaged, it's very difficult for them to further develop. And that includes memory loss and lower IQ. And this is where the young boxers hope all that hard work and training will lead them. For the lucky ones like Kosovo, it's to a big match venue like this one here at Bangkok's Lumpini Arena. Big bouts are exciting for boxers like Pasawat, but with the increased intensity, they are also more dangerous than sparring. Since Muay Thai is part of Thai culture, an outright ban for young boxers is not realistic. The government body that oversees boxing has read the medical study. We are figuring out the way to solve the problem. The law should be amended for maximum young boxer safety, but the enforcement of the law is our weakness. With an estimated 100,000 child boxers in Thailand, many of them unregistered, even once the law is changed, protecting the boxers will be difficult. And that could mean more head injuries, as the study found out. The longer they fight, the more severe the damage. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.